Hi guys and welcome back to, uh, guys and gals, welcome back to another uh, brewery build day. This is number four in the series. Um, hopefully I'll be able to have more videos and I got a lot more time to watch them because I finished school yesterday with my uh, master's degree in business administration. So finally that's out of the way so I don't have to do homework anymore, thank God. Um, anyway, uh, getting past that. Uh, <laughs> Today we're working on the HLT. Um, I've already put one valve in, the uh, lower one, and I filled it up a little ways. I'm kind of doing this one in steps, uh, just because I want to. I have to do it in a certain order so I can get the uh, uh, false bottom in. So let's take a look at what we got so far, and uh, also we're leak testing again today as well. This is going to be all HLT day. Once that's hooked up. Um, I'm going to get an electrician here, get some power over this thing, and I'm going to cycle everything as well to make sure everything's sealed up and uh, not leaking anywhere. If not, I'll have to go and make some adjustments to fix that. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at what we got. And uh, yeah, all right, so this is where we're at right now. We got uh, that's the boil kettle and HLT all set up. The coil is in there attached to the lid. Uh, you probably won't be able to see this very well. Um, but I'll show you better when I actually go into a brew day and how all this works exactly and what I'm thinking. And that's also going to serve as the work chiller. Um, I think I have figured out how I'm going to do that. I'm going to fill up the uh, mash tun with cold water and also some ice. And then what I'll do is I'll just recirculate it through that and uh, dual purpose. That's what I like to see. Anyway, here we are. We're working on the mash tun today. So far I've got the lower valve in. And there is a little bit of a leak that I've been waiting to come through. So we'll tighten that up, hopefully, and get that squared away. I just got enough water in there uh, to test that one. Then I'll fill up, put the uh, temperature probe in once I get that leak stopped. And right now I'm working on putting in the uh, valve for the spar darm. Uh, that one doesn't really have to be leak tested all that well. So I'm going to get this taken care of. I think I know what the problem is, and it's the same mistake I made yesterday, the other day. So uh, I'm going to get that done. And uh, we'll take a look at it when it's all said and done. See you. All right, so there it is. I got to make this last part quick because uh, I'm going to get in trouble. I got some housework I got to get done. But uh, I wheeled it into this other room just because I wanted to test the pump and there's an outlet real close. Uh, so basically for recirculating, we'll turn that valve on. We go down to the three-way ball valve that's coming in and up through the pump into my HLT. As you can see in there, there's coil, it also has a valve in. Uh, so it comes in through this one, which was leaking a little bit, tighten that up, fixed it, and uh, the compression fitting got messed up. Comes back out through this line, and then uh, I put another ball valve on here, that way I can control the flow during sparge. So let's plug it in. Alright, let's see, here we go. Pump. And then on she goes. All right. And that's basically recirculating like a champ. I don't have the spar arm in there yet, uh, but I'll get that in later. But uh, I think it's got a little bit of air in the lines, but other than that, it's going really good. And I'm getting uh, pretty excited, I must say. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope everyone's uh, been enjoying the series so far, and we will talk to you next time.